and happy Monday. So I stopped making videos last semester, as some of you noticed, um, because things got really busy and I didn't necessarily have the time to sit and edit videos anymore. So things are still pretty busy and um, we'll see if I have the time this semester. But I figured I'd try uh, since I got a few requests to start making them again. So I'm now in my second semester of my MPH at Columbia and um, my schedule is definitely less crazy than last semester. I don't have that crazy like core schedule that was going on, um, but uh, at least like my schedule is a little bit more traditional. So like on Monday I go to a certain class at the same time every Monday, whereas last semester it was just craziness in different classes at different times on different days all the time. <laughs> um, so this semester I am taking half of my classes in the health policy management department and then a couple in the epidemiology department um, because I decided on my certificate is uh, comparative effectiveness and outcomes research. So um, that like comparative, that, that part, that CEOR part uh, means that some of my classes I share with epidemiology students to get that uh, statistical background. So this semester my classes are uh, empirical analysis of health policy, also known as research methods one. Introduction to Health Economics, uh, Analysis of Categorical Data, so that's one of those classes that I share with the epidemiology students, and my last um, traditional class is Decision Analysis, and then I also still have the discussion, um, the integration of science and practice, so that carried over from last semester. I had that last semester, and then I'll also have that for all of the, the spring semester as well. And the same with um, the professional development course, that is unique to the health policy management students. Um, but I had that last semester, I'll continue to have that through this semester. Uh, the only difference being that those two classes were pass fail last semester and this semester they're for grade. Um, and then additionally, at the beginning of this semester, I had a leadership course. So leadership's required for all public health programs. And so Columbia does it in the second semester for um, the first half of the semester. So once I left for spring break, I was done with that class. Um, so this week, I have an exam for analysis of categorical data that I'm going to be studying for today and tomorrow. And then I have some econ homework. I have a research methods final project that's starting and um, just uh, pure, no, what do I have? An article um, critique for my decision analysis class on cost effectiveness. And um, yeah, so the main focus right now though is studying for my categorical data class. So I'm gonna start doing that now. So here is the setup. Um, I'm going to be drinking my iced coffee and watching the last four lecture videos. So I think that started at lecture 11, oh, but that's part two. Here we go. So I finished half of my uh, lecture recordings and now I am heading in for my professional development class. I was up really late last night, so I got a very late start to today, and now I'm going to get some snacks and finish my formula sheet for my exam that is tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's finish this cheat sheet. Ta-da! I'm finally done with my formula sheet. So it is Wednesday morning, and I am leaving for my ISP group presentation. So this semester we have student-led cases, and this week is my group's week. 
to present the case. So we are talking about monetary incentives for behavior change like syntaxes on uh, cigarettes and alcohol, as well as uh, cash transfer programs and things like that. So I'm leaving for that now. And then after that, I basically have a full day until my categorical exam at 5.30. So yesterday it was almost a complete wash. All I did was study for categorical. Um, so hopefully that goes well. I finished my exam um, it went okay I took the whole time because at first I was being like really paranoid about um, like making sure that I was describing all the assumptions and everything like that um, so I had to like move it and not like write as much because I don't think that she actually wanted that much um, but yeah so exam went well find out in like 48 hours how it actually went uh, but at least everything was on my cheat sheet <laughs> Um, so now I'm standing out here waiting for the bus home. Um, it was like kind of warmer yesterday, so I was expecting it to be like that temperature springy again today, but it is not. It is cold. So I'm very glad that the bus is here right now. Well, it is Thursday and I have been home sick all day. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not, but um, yeah. So I didn't go to class today. I would have, this is what was on my schedule, I would have gone to my Research Methods 1 class or my Empirical Analysis of Health Policy Research Methods 1. I would have gone to that at 1 and then there was a celebration event for the SMS department's 50th anniversary. Um, so I had that on my schedule as well and then at 5.30 was my, or is going to be, my health economics class. Um, so yeah, that's what I would have done today. But apparently, um, stressing out about my exam that I took yesterday um, dampered my immune system enough that now I have a sinus infection. Happy Friday. So my entire department has off classes on Fridays, so I have no classes. Um, my schedule was empty today except for a call I had regarding an internship application that I put out. So I, that's one of the requirements for my program to graduate is that you have to have completed a full-time summer practicum or internship or whatever. Um, so I did that this morning and I've been putting a lot of applications out for that. And now I am going to get ready to go downtown and wish my boyfriend's friend a happy birthday.